Hi, hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm making a video about grammar and proofreading and punctuation and just being a good human being uh, because grammar is important. It communicates like our ideas. Um, it also is good manners. Um, and it kind of sometimes can show you like what class you're in other people i mean um it shows other people your education so i'm not always i i'm not always a stickler for using perfect grammar especially in our speech or our online communication but when it comes to school and professional uh, situations we just need to know and practice our best um writing so and speaking so hopefully uh, you guys can see this and you know that I'm not, I don't know. It seems like we're going to be making fun of people today, but really we just want to look at other people's mistakes and just kind of giggle about it um, because we know that we make mistakes. I make mistakes. Everybody does. But this is just, these are some mistakes that were put on the internet. Um, so up here you guys can see your girlfriend. Oh no, um, no one wants a girlfriend like that. And here we have somebody writing a chat to a bank because they need six hundred and fifty dollars out of their account oops um and you guys can't see this but uh it's just that sometimes a person needs six hundred and fifty dollars and somebody made a joke here but you can't see this sorry about that okay next slide oops um rachel ray she's a cooking expert it says Rachel Ray finds inspiration in cooking her family and her dog. Um, now that I know she cooks her dog and her family, she look at that smile on her face. She looks like a complete psychopath. So commas can save lives. Um, and here we have signs. Uh, this is really sad because it looks like it's for a library. Ring in the new year wit, a good book. Oh, no. Oh, that's such a bad. Maybe they just... Maybe the age fell off. Let's just give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, apostrophes. Oh my gosh, they drive me crazy. Uh, like when they're in the wrong spot. And sometimes you're just not sure, so you have to think about it. That's normal. But here we have toilets. Um, and I don't know if you guys know who Smeagol or Gollum is from the Lord of the Rings, but that's how he speaks. He says, toilets is, and um, my precious is, and you know, he just uses hobbits is. And so anytime I see something like this, I just think of Smeagol. Um, they're just plural, so you can just leave this apostrophe out. Um, and for, would you guys go to professional signs to get a sign made for your business? Well, I certainly hope not. And here we have more grammar mistakes. Oh no, this said grammar failed, but it looks like the the border made an error here. Took off the G, but this says open. Check out our sweet deals. Oh no, that just oh, that's so bad. O U R right. And here we have moms's, dads's, and grads. At least be consistent you know um just oh oof, so bad um hopefully the grads and the moms and the dads understood what was wrong here and same thing this is so ironic must have a good understanding of english oh no part-time chefs is and cooks is required um this is this is a mess so um here we have free vacuum and it's just spelling and proofreading so these can easily be uh, checked and fixed before they're put out there for the public and here we have no no teachers and reporters we make mistakes too um so we have two schools loose four star ranking i think that's probably i always in when i was younger i would mess up lose and loose uh, so I totally understand that, but for a newspaper, they should have it right in here. These teachers, whose's schools? Oh no, it looks like they just, what, what is this right here? Anyways, it looks like this person then second guessed themselves and this apostrophe, oh no. And so these are teachers picketing, oh no. And they have this on the College Humor website, but I don't find that humorous at all. I find that terrifying. 
So here we have, it's never too late to start your career. Did you guys know that? It's never too late. And Dr. Martian Luther King Day, it's one of my favorite days to celebrate. Besides Dr. Martin Luther King. Oh my. Um, who wants to take their kids to ABC Chillin's Academy? That's a mess. I would not take my kids there. And here, you guys, I can't really say what's wrong with this because I will get into dark territory here, but I will say that this is a fragment. And when you see it, oof, I really don't think they meant to use this particular word. Um, so I'm going to advance the slide, but you guys see it. Oh, no. So here's another slide. Uh, doesn't matter where you work. Grammar is still important because and, and just punctuating and, and writing things that are, are you know, understandable. Here we have, we is closed. The gas station is closed. You is, and then someone's being really sarcastic on the bottom. When does you open? That's such a mistake. And here we have all pumps is prepaid. And someone just got out their red Sharpie and just went nuts. Uh, <laughs> like, I bet this would probably be my honor students. They would get out their red marker and just go crazy. Um, or definitely some disgruntled teacher. Uh, here we have, I'm going to try to read this. Pumpses are not taking debit cards. Why is, why are all these things capitalized? That is so obnoxious. Here it says, please fill up gas and pay inside with your debit card or use as credit at pump. Thank you. Sorry for inconvenience, which isn't even a word. So you can see how, uh, like I can barely understand this note because I'm so, I can't even get, I can't even understand what they're saying because the grammar is so bad. So I just assume they want us to pay inside. So I would go pay inside and I would offer to be their proofreader. I'm not perfect. I'm not saying, but I could definitely help this person. Uh, and tattoos it. Oh no. Um, you know, a sign can be fixed, but what's on your skin is permanent guys. Um, so your, here's your far from the usual. You guys see how that's wrong. And then here we have believe a chive. I love chives, but only I'm a baked potatoes. Um, and nothing lasts us forever. Um, but that tattoo definitely lasts us forever. Um, here we have one that says too young to die, too fast to live. And we have the wrong two. Um, and then, I mean, I don't care what you do for a living. If you're a tattoo artist, if you are, my husband's electrician, he tells me about the terrible emails that people write and how he just wonders like if they're even literate. So this is just really important no matter what job you have. Um, it's get better. Well, I certainly hope it gets better. Like I, yeah, 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 yeah. Here you have more tattoos. I, I'd be afraid to tell these people they have mistakes because they look so terrifying and intimidating. But regret knowing you guys. And you, your next. Here's your next. I guess, um, and then forgive me for my sins. Is I cannot forgive the sin of a tattoo, you guys. Here we have uh cakes. Oh my gosh, the cakes are so funny. I just I usually like end up crying after like crying, laughing after looking at these because they're so bad. Uh, congratulations is and we have cakes for all occasions, weddings is birthdays is anniversaries is this christenings is this oh my um so I put this quote Benjamin Franklin here common sense is not so common but this per this has to be a joke. Happy birthday Erica please these misspellings are just terrifying proofread this cake it sounds like they were giving directions on the phone but it just went poorly after that and it's just too bad because the take the cake decorator has done adorable work but his cake is ruined although i would um have a slice if i could here we have another goodbye party ruined by um somebody decorating cakes best wishes comma suzanne and i would punctuate this with some sort of exclamation mark um, and then it looks like they wanted the cake 
decorator to write underneath this will miss you, but underneath that, oh no. And who uses like these three colors together on a cake? I just don't know that I wouldn't want to eat that cake. Huge me. I mean, these mistakes can cost you a Valentine, you know, can cost you a, you know, second date with a person. So yeah, as an English teacher, when I was dating, before I met my husband, it was just, he, I couldn't, I had to text people first because I just had to evaluate their intelligence. I know that sounds really bad, but you know, we're not going to mix if, if you're going to get me a cake like this, that's going to make me feel bad. This, there's nothing really wrong with the punctuation on this cake, but you can see, uh, <laughs> there was supposed to be a picture here. Uh, and then here, oh, quotation marks can be insulting. 20th, Thanks for being our dad. I, I I assume that the person isn't really their dad. They're 20 years old, but it just sounds sassy. So <laughs> here we have a Yoda cake. Uh, congratulations, 60 miles you did. This is so bad. Like, and then the one raspberry. Okay, I, I'm. I usually don't complain about the artistic. Um, yeah, I guess like the aesthetics of a cake, but this. This is bad. And oh gosh. This clown cake is so sad. I love this website, by the way, cakerex.com. Nobody loves is you. <laughs> it doesn't look like the good frosting, though. Okay, this is this is a feat. This is beautiful. But I don't know if you guys can read this. Uh the misery machine. So, oh, the whole cake is so beautiful, but ruined. I wonder what made the machine mis like filled with misery. Maybe Shaggy and Scooby had too many sandwiches and were sick or something. I don't know. Congratulations, you did it. You done it. I can't even read. <laughs> it's so bad. I hope this was on sale. And then, sorry that you fell and 15 people seen it oh no looks like they have never seen the inside of the book inside of a book or or just it's just really bad it's a cute cake though i'm not going to hate on the decorations here it's a lot a lot better than i could do thank you for your dedication that's that's bad maybe that's for a funeral i don't know um i am women this is plural Hear me roar, and we have the wrong ear. Well, again, a beautiful cake ruined. Um, has to go on sale. Oh, please use the thongs. Is I don't think they meant that. I think they meant the tongs, plural. But that's real bad. I, yeah, that's not the right type of tongs. And here we have lemon poopy cake. Oh no! <laughs> I just think that's so gross. Now I can't eat that. And Gout! I don't know if I know they meant to write go U T, but gout is a terrible disease you can get on your foot because you ate too many rich foods and it's it's awful. So yeah, I'm not gonna buy that cake because I'm reminded that I could get gout if I eat like that. Secretary says they love our cakes, and this is at Dairy Queen. I love Dairy Queen. Happy 40th Zoe with two dots over the E. I mean, this is bad. Poor Zoe. Oh, gosh, this sign. I want to see this person. The disabled elderly pregnant child. I, I, I can't picture the person in my mind, so I just want to see them. Uh, okay. Sometimes you're the dog. Oh, okay, well, I know this is the wrong you're, but... I see this comma splice here because the, these two are independent clauses. They cannot just be held apart by a comma. Uh, and these are my favorite, these Twitter comments. Um, if Barack Obama is our president, oh no. <laughs> this person says literally playing, I guess this is charades, which is spelled with the C. Um, and you ever meet somebody off of Twitter, then you meet up and they got the same, I assume they're saying outfit that they had on in the profile pic. Um, I guess that's a no-no. 
Oh, gosh, I wouldn't meet anyone on Twitter if they wrote like this, but 